Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you six mods that I consider essential to anyone that plays Skyrim on PC. Um, these mods don't involve any performance loss that I know of, and I think generally everybody can agree that they just make the game better. So there's really no reason not to download them. The first mod on this list is Nexus Mod Manager with Skyrim Script Extender. Um, this makes it a lot easier to install mods from the Nexus site. Uh, I'm not using Steam Workshop, so... I can't help you with those mods. As for the rest of these mods, I'll just show you what difference they make in game and at the end of this video I'm going to show you uh, how to install all these mods. The first real mod is realistic blood textures. In a vanilla game the blood looks a lot like jelly instead of normal blood, so this mod changes that. As you can see the blood looks a lot darker than the vanilla version. Uh, in my opinion the vanilla version reflects too much light to be realistic, it just looks a lot more like jelly. Well, I think we can all agree that the vanilla map is beautiful, but it makes it difficult to find the major cities. A quality world map changes that, it adds all the roads to the map. It's a very simple mod, but it makes it a lot easier to find the uh, cities. Um, there's a different version uh, where the map is made out of paper. I just prefer this one. There's also a version where they only show the major roads. Uh, but I really don't see any reason to use that instead of this one. So I recommend this one of course. Now this next mod is called Sky UI. It changes the vanilla UI to a more mouse friendly UI. Uh, the vanilla UI is definitely built for consoles instead of for PC. It's a lot easier to navigate and in my opinion it looks a lot more lore friendly than a normal UI. Now categorize favorites menu does exactly what it says, it categorizes your favorites, uh, it makes it a lot easier to navigate with a mouse again. Uh, I really don't see any reason why you shouldn't download this. Now no more blocky faces does exactly what it says, again, uh, no more blocky faces. In the vanilla game in some situations like in inns, uh, the faces can become really blocky with the shadows. This mod fixes that, I really don't see any reason why you would not use this. Now I'm going to show you how to install these mods with Nexus Mod Manager. Um, you need a Nexus account for the mods and you also need to know where your Skyrim is installed. Now we are on my desktop so I'm going to show you how to install these mods. These are the mods, uh, the links are going to be in the description. So you're going to start out with the Nexus Mod Manager, just download. Okay. And just run that. Uh, I'm gonna install this to a different location than usual, but it doesn't really matter. Now it's going to search for all your Bethesda games. Um, I just have Skyrim installed, so you need to select it and then click OK. And then you're going to have to log in with your account. And then you have that installed, and you should have a desktop icon right here. So, second mod, Skyrim Script Extender. Um, you need to download that, like this. Uh, you need um, WinRAR for this. And you're just going to open that up, and you need to drop that in your Skyrim trajectory. So just type in Skyrim. And this folder. With your data. If you can't find this you can just type in the Elder Scrolls. Um, yeah. And now you need to copy all the DLL files and the XE file. Uh, you don't need the TXT file, and this is also not necessary.
Now for the rest of the mods, they are really simple to install. Just go to downloads and then download with manager. And it's gonna be right here. So just drop these all in there. I prefer this version. These are, well, this is a different version, and this is the installer where you can configure everything. I prefer this one. So that's what I'm gonna use. Um. Well, it's the only version. So you should have all the mods here right now and you need to wait for them to finish downloading. Anyways, now that these have finished downloading, you just need to click on one of them and this is going to install this mod. And it's as simple as that. So just activate all of them. Now one thing to note is that not all mods can be installed this way, some require manual install and for that you just need to follow the instructions on the mod page. So it will usually be under install. If I can type correctly. Well, anyway, we'll just see, see installation and then it's going to explain you in detail how you can do it. But um, manual install when you can just install it with Nexus Mod Manager, there's really no reason to do that. Oh, and one last thing you need to restart your Nexus. And then you need to select a Skyrim Strict Extender from this. Let's see. I had to restart it because uh, it hadn't registered since I left it on when I dropped the script extender in there, but you just need to select this. And there you go. So this is my first video on this channel, my first real video. Um, prior to this video I had not used Sony Vegas to any great extent, so I hope it came out okay. Um, if you like the video, please like it and subscribe if you want to see more.